All right, what I have here is an experiment, a simple one, which is comparing the Mini 4 Pro and the Mini 3 Pro. They both claim 34 minutes of flight time, and we all know that's not true. They're more like 22 minutes, but I'm comparing them in the same conditions to cough at the same time, mano a mano, who is gonna fly longer in the identical conditions, same height, same settings, and everything. All right, so so interesting, huh? So I'll show you right here what's going on and how stable they are. There's no wind today. This is the Mini 3 Pro in normal mode, and this is the Mini 4 Pro in normal mode. And that's how crazy stable these drones are. Before we proceed with this matchup, let's do some data. The Mini 4 Pro is 249 grams with battery. It's a 77 gram battery, a lighter battery, with a little more power, 2590 milliamp hours. The Mini 3 Pro, the older one, is also 249 grams with a heavier battery, 81 grams, with a smaller battery, 2453 milliamp hours, or 137 less. So here we go, we take off at exactly the same time and we are lucky to have virtually no wind on this day. And in typical cage style fashion, they are gonna go head to head, face each other with a timer on the lower right corner there. And on the lower left corner, we are gonna show you the display of the Mini 3 Pro. And the reason we do that is you can see some statistics, battery statistics, uh, through the display of these controllers. So you see the Mini 3 Pro has 94% battery out of 100. And these batteries were charged right before the shootout. You can't charge them the day before because it discharges a little bit. So we speed it up. It says there's 30 minutes left. A complete fabrication. <laughs> and if you click on the battery, it'll show you more information that's very handy. So 20 minutes 53 till it returns to home, 23 minutes until it forces you to land and 26 minutes until the battery is completely dead. So as you can see, their range estimates are for a completely dead battery, but they never allow you to do that. So it is a very unrealistic, unattainable battery range. Your real range is the force landing. And even there before that, you have to return to home. So you can't do any of your flying or filming uh, at that point. So the first number, the 20 minutes, 10 seconds is actually the most realistic number. So here we go, we'll do something. We'll speed it up until there's something interesting happening, but something to note is the hover is deadly stable on both these drones. It's even more stable if there's really zero wind. And here, I'll slow it down a little bit because the Mini 4 Pro started drifting up and down, up and down. And that was a strange behavior because the Mini 3 Pro is not doing that. And both these drones are in sport mode. Sport mode so they don't uh, sense any obstacles. And they, were, they weren't hovering quite as nicely. They were drifting a little bit up and down in, uh, in normal mode with full obstacle detection. So in sport mode, it just minimizes the variables. So we're 12 minutes in. And if you follow the return to home battery left, it says we have nine more minutes to go. So very interesting. The estimates of 34 minutes on both these batteries, uh, claims of DJI are done at a 13 mile an hour flight with zero wind. Very unrealistic. 
because there's always a little wind and you can't always be flying you know that's a drone mostly is hovering and, and filming flying is more efficient with battery because you have a little bit of aerodynamic effect the blades generate a little bit of lift and that saves battery in terms of keeping the drone up when you are hovering you are completely reliant on the propellers uh, and force to keep the drone up and where are we at? we are at 14 minutes so pretty darn good and it is worth noting that there is a plus battery for $95 that will get you about 35% more capacity and flight time so I highly recommend that so we are getting down to the finish here return to home it says on the DJI Mini 3 display and here it is the great reveal who is gonna land first who is gonna be forced to come down first you have any guesses they both claim 34 minutes and we are getting close and right there at 23 minutes and 20 seconds the mini 4 pro was forced to land and the Mini 3 Pro is still up in the air right there and as the reveal says 24 minutes and 7 seconds it is forced to land so it is almost 1 minute longer flight time than the Mini 4 Pro so quite a good reveal right there uh, even though DJI claims 34 minutes for both identical they're not identical the Mini 3 Pro flies a little longer and if you want a little trick buy the mini 4 pro battery for your mini 3 pro because it has a little more capacity and it is lighter so you will have an even better runtime on your mini 3 pro there you go like share and subscribe to drone and tech review thanks a ton